Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In this one today, I'm going to be fixing the first and third person camera that I made a tutorial for last week. So a couple of you asked me in the comments if I can make an animation where we transition from the first into the third person character smoothly without using two cameras. So this is going to be one camera. I'm going to smoothly transition from A to B and it's going to look pretty sick. So let's get started. Okay, so the project I'm in now, I'm just going to delete all this stuff. And I want to show you that you can do this completely from scratch. I'm going to delete the camera and the spring arm. I'm currently working in a secret project that I'm releasing for 1,000 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. And here I am in the IMC. I've added a camera switch and I've created a new input mapping. Just like this. We've pressed and released and added it to the IMC. Just like this. And the button that we'll be pressing is V or the key. So if you just search for your input action which is going to be camera switch for me we can get it in the event graph just like this then we need to add our camera so let's go to add and search for spring arm make sure we drag it onto the mesh and make sure we click the parent socket and change that to head then we can click on the spring arm and adjust the rotation just like this I'm just going to rotate this way by 90 degrees and I'm just going to zero out these two values here, just like this. Okay. Next, we're going to add a camera and make sure that's parented to the spring arm. So if you select the spring arm and then add a camera, it should just parent it. Then we're going to click camera. Target socket is going to be the spring endpoint, And we're just going to reset all the values here. Go to the spring arm and rotate it by 90 degrees, which will rotate the camera. Now, for some reason, I'm in uh, 5.6 right now, and the rotation keeps on messing up when I do this. Mm. So just make sure them two values are zeroed out. And we are still rotated in the wrong way. So let me just change this. In fact, actually, we need to change it in the... So I changed it in the camera. We actually need to change it in the spring arm like this. Okay, minus 90. And there we go. We are all positioned correctly. Now this here is what we're going to be adjusting to make it smoothly transition. That's the target arm length. So we're going to be going from a value of 0 to a value of 300. So let's just position our camera where we want it for the first person camera. So this looks pretty good to me. Your values might be different because I'm using a custom character from Mixamo. But you can just play around. The code will be the exact same. Don't worry about that. So here we are. I'm pretty happy with this. And we can close these two as well. Now let's drag out the spring arm and search for set target arm length. Just like this. And then we can drag this over to the right. Then we can drag out of started and get a flip flop. Which means we can do one thing when we press the button and then reverse it when we do the other, basically. We can drag out target arm length and get a lerp and make sure it is a float. And let's just check what the target arm length was. It was 300 to begin with. So we're starting at A. We're going to finish at B. So we're going to start from zero and finish at 300. If you want to go from third to first person, we can obviously do it the other way around, but that's up to you. So right now, you would think if we press one thing, which would be uh, the V key. So if we press the V key, it would just, you know, work between them, but it won't without a timeline. So if I just click play now, uh, it will do nothing basically. So let's just click this line and here while holding Alt and out of A, we are going to get a timeline. We're going to rename this camera transition. And the B value of the flip flop is going to go into reverse. Now we're going to change the length to 0.5 seconds and the track is going to be a float track we're going to rename this camera alpha then we're going to right click in the open space and create a float key so right click add key type float and it's going to be zero zero to start right click again add another one and the time is going to be 0.5 and one as the value now we can select all this right click it click auto That'll make it a smoother transition. And now we can transition between our A and B value smoothly. 
And the value of the camera transition, which was 0.5, is the amount of time you want it to take to transition between A and B. So let's just connect up our camera alpha, which was 0.5 seconds. In fact, let me just show you without, it does nothing. And then when we add a, say, value of 1, it'll transition like instantly because we never made it smooth. But if we add the camera alpha and save it and play it, here we go. We can actually play. And we press V on our keyboard and it will smoothly transition between the first and third person camera. So this is looking pretty good. But right now, I'm moving up and down on my mouse and I cannot look up and down. So we're going to fix that in a minute. But before we do that, I want to make it look a little bit better. So we're going to click the spring arm and we're going to enable the camera lag. And I want to show you that this makes it look a little bit better when you are in third person. But it will not work in first person. So... Here we have a transition and it looks kind of cool. It just makes it a little bit more smooth. But as you can see, when we go into first person, it kind of breaks the camera. So I'll show you how we can use camera rotation lag and basically switch it on and off when we uh, transition between first and third. So selecting the spring arm, that's going to be our parent. So we're going to drag out of this, search for rover. Uh, search for a camera lag and it's going to be set camera lag set enable camera lag and then we're going to get set lag and we're going to get the rotation so set enable camera lag rotation that one so let's just copy this uh, tidy it up a little bit Paste this here, press Q to align, and there we go. Now we want to add these before the camera actually transitions. So let's just make a bit of space by dragging these to the right, drag these in, and let's connect it in the middle of the A value. So connect up, connect up, and connect it to play. Let's delete this B value. Line them up, copy and paste, just like this, and click that. Connect it to reverse, and then where we go. Now, it's still kind of interfering with our camera, so we need to actually enable it on this one and disable it on the bottom two. Let's save all. Click play. And it is enabling the camera lag from the start. But if we press V, it's enabling it now as well, and it's disabling it right now. Now, you won't be able to see that, but I'll show you what I mean. So, if we go back into BP third person character, whatever character you're using, we can disable it from the start, click play. And when we press V, it smoothly transitions, turns it on, so we've got the lag on now. And then when we press it again, it'll disable it when we're in the first person. Here is another thing we can actually do. We can actually set the FOV. So say you're using the FOV of 90 when you're in the third person camera. We can actually change it when we go into the first person camera. So say you wanted like 120 FOV, for example. We can actually do that in the exact same way we've just done the uh, camera lag. So let's connect this up. Connect this up again just like this. And we can copy and paste it. Add it in the middle of the B value as well. So the original value will be 90 and the secondary value will be 120. Let's click play. So now we're in 90, 90 again, and now we're in 120. And that's because we didn't enable the field of view from the start, as, as you can see here. So let's just go into our camera. Click the X, go to FOV, and set it to 120 or 140 and then we'll set this one to 140 as well just so you can see it a little bit better now we actually start in 140 transition to 90 and then go back to 140 sweet okay the last and probably the most important thing we actually need to do is fix this camera not being able to look up and down with our mouse so we need to click on camera um no sorry the spring arm i'm going to enable use palm control rotation and this will allow us to look up and down with our camera I don't think that enabled. There we go. Let's enable it. Compile. Play. 
and now we can look up and down in first person with our strafing locomotion and the exact same in the third person sweet that's gonna do it for today's video we're almost at 1k i'm doing a massive massive video for 1k so stay tuned like the video subscribe and i'll catch you later peace